Hello again, and welcome to um, my next little instalment of how you two can learn to play the ancient Jewish Kinnor, as played by my Levite ancestors in the Temple of Jerusalem over 2,000 years ago. I'm going to show you today how to play um, a beautiful melody uh, to the a hymn that usually sang at the end of most Shabbat services called Yigdal. Um, the tuning I'm going to use is again the harmonic minor, very common in all these ancient Jewish tunes. The harmonic minor that in this case starts on a G. Um, so you start the tuning of the ten strings is a fourth below your tonic. So you have D, E flat, F, your G your tonic, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F. Right, here's your basic melody. Um, we start off with your D, then G, A, B flat, C, D, back down to G, up a fourth to C, D, E flat, C, D, comes down the scale, C, then back up the scale, B flat, C, flat F, E flat B, C, B flat, then comes up, C, D, then you have your um, C, down to A, B flat, C, D, B flat, a, down a fifth to your D, back to your tonic note G, then up the scale G, A, B flat, C, D, B flat, D, C, B flat, A, G. You can also add a bit of basic harmony to that. Let's show you for an example. You can start off with a fourth. So um, D and the G. And a fifth D in the G. Maybe a third. Um, you have um, D and B flat. Um, and a fifth you can have F and B flat. And then maybe um, D and B flat. And A and the C. Then B flat with say an F at the bottom and a D at the bottom, so a full three note chord. Then you can have say B flat and a D, A and the C. And then you can have say F and B flat, a fourth. Then a fifth you can have um, your D and um, an A. Then a fourth again, D and the G. Fifth, maybe D and the G. Then a bit of a stretch, you have a sixth, I can't say that, you have D and B flat. Then you can end with a fourth, D and the G. So, lots of things you can do. I hope that was interesting. Shalom and bye for now.